All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Gerson & Co's Tropic Matte Clay. So, considering that this pomade is based out of Singapore, and this is designed to be like a super strong, super, like, high durable pomade for the high humidity, high temperature that is out there, I'm super stoked to show you guys what I have kind of experienced the last couple of days. We'll just jump right into the review, so I don't need to, like, really talk much show you guys essentially what i'm trying to get at in terms of how enjoyable this pomade was to use so application or not application design of the jar application process initial thoughts um we'll we jump into the endurance at the end of the day and then finally my final thoughts on it makes sense all right let's get to the design of the jar all right taking a look at the tropics matte clay we see that it comes in a very standard 100 milliliter plastic amber container with the aluminum lid. We got a sticker label on top as well as on the side. Uh, from my standpoint, it looks like a very standard traditional type of presentation for a pomade. From my experience so far, it just seems like a lot of companies have kind of strayed, not strayed, but followed this path of this plastic container with aluminum lid. Not exactly sure why, maybe COVID kind of messed with the supply chain and just containers aren't as available anymore and it's just hard to get a very consistent branding. I don't know, maybe that's the case. But in terms of design aspect of it, <clears throat> we see that it follows the <laughs> tropical theme with the backlay of a tree as well as the company's like emblems as well as that's pretty much it. Other than that, we have the ingredients on the side, the actual product itself, and the application as well as what the product is. Other than that, pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and get to the application process. The most exciting part of the video. So when you guys open the pomade up, you'll see that there is a little plastic sealant that kind of keeps everything fresh and kind of prevents things from coming in. So in terms of the actual, let me get up again. Oh my God. When you guys look at the pomade itself, you'll see that it's a super hard waxy product. So not very in the sense of a traditional clay where everything is gritty, typically softer in terms of what the product is. We see that it's a super waxy product. And from that, I assume the trade-off is more endurance, more durability, and just a heavier weighted product. Because as you know, most clays, they do feel super light in the hair. And the trade-off between that is that you get a ton of volume as well as just more flexibility and styling, a pretty strong hold. But as you guys know, the, like the downside of that trade-off is the hold and slickness and just overall I guess endurance of it, you'll get a ton of strays at the end of the day. So maybe this wax is what kind of offsets all of that. And in the sense, we have an unorthodox kind of clay pomade. That was a mouthful, but let's get go ahead and get styling. So scooping it out, we'll see that it's a little bit hard, a little bit waxy, and just a slightly, slightly more dry product than most traditional clays. So spreading it around, it's a little bit hard. We see that it breaks down super easily and doesn't feel gritty. It does feel a lot more waxier than an actual clay. So with the directions, it does say start with the dime size amount. So I'm going to do a little bit of a fingertip every time. Usually my experience so far, two scoops has done pretty well anymore it does get this really heavy like sticky feeling as if you just applied a ton of like dax wave and groom essentially so air on the side of caution start with a little and then apply more as needed and then a second <laughs> sign of caution would be to apply this on more dry hair than not just because it is a wax slash clay for some reason, when your hair is damp, it just never works well, or at least that's my experience so far. So applying it, slight resistance, slight tugging, I assume from both the clay and the wax itself. 
typically it's never from the oil or like a gel based pomade just because it's a little bit more lubricated with the waters so i think today we might actually i think we're kind of good so let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit i'm going to go with the finger comb because this is a little bit more of a actually where's my comb so just to give you guys an idea of how slick this product can be as well as just finger combing it which i'm probably going to resort to i'm going to try and style both so as you guys see it's fairly a dry product you won't get a crazy amount of slickness there is a crazy amount of hold which is definitely needed for today for some reason the hair is not cooperating super well so i'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more right now there aren't any build or there isn't any build up in my hair so that could explain it oh there we go sometimes you can just feel that it's going to be a good hair day when you use the right amount of product so that's about three dimes worth of scooping. And right now, everything does feel solid. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get combing. Cool. So as you guys can see, there's a good amount of volume on this. In terms of slickness, it's not gonna be super apparent. But there is still, I'd say, like a low to medium range of slickness to the product itself, given that it's a waxier product. Um, we see that there are a little bit of strays here and there, even with the more application or the application of more product, things didn't necessarily get super slick. But typically, that's not what I go for. So let's go ahead and finger comb it and see what we get. Typically, I only spend like two to three minutes in terms of getting my hair and my face ready, which is just like super quick shave and then pomade style and then I bounce. So finger combing it. You see that it's a super lax look. Very nice in terms of like how much give the product has. Not a ton of weight right now. But let's clean this side up. So my hair is a little bit shorter. Cool. Don't think that backside is going to be too cooperative today. But we'll see what happens as things kind of settle in. You see that it's a fairly good hold. Things are held down pretty nicely. There's just a little bit of bed head or whatever this is called. Hair is not super responsive, but in terms of texture, in terms of hold, everything is kind of living up to par on what we expect from the actual clay itself. All right, let's go ahead and wrap things up. As you guys can see, the pomade has a very strong hold. Things are controlled very nicely. Texture wise, we get a good amount of texture from the clay. Volume, it's pretty high. Texture, again, is pretty solid. A good amount of separation between just how things are layered. In terms of scent, they do offer two uh, scents to choose from I believe one was vanilla tobacco and the one I got was Aventus just because I had no idea what that was I just know it's a cologne Overall, it does smell pretty solid in terms of what a cologne smells like definitely not on the cheap side of Smelling like Axe body spray or anything like that. It's more of like a more refined scent um, When I opened the jar essentially it just smelled like one of my housemates here and I was like suspicious, but he doesn't use Aventus, he uses like a 
I think like three or four different scents, like a rotating one. So can't really pinpoint exactly what that is, but just know it's going to be like a very deep, solid cologne type of scent. Nothing too fruity, nothing too like citrusy or even like uh, sweet in that essence. So let's go ahead and get throughout the day. Um, not a super busy day, just going to be at home editing a ton of photos. So report back to you guys in about six to seven hours and give you guys a gist of what has happened. So catch you guys in a bit. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this video up. So we're on hour six about now before restyling or doing anything. Just wanted to give you guys a little look at what has happened to the hair. Things have shifted a little bit out of place. It is 95 degrees today, so I was outside for a very brief moment. Did sweat a little bit, so that may have contributed to things just kind of like loosening up and falling a little bit out of place. Nothing like unacceptable as if it was like a gel pomade where it's just there's no point of return. This, however, we can restyle, which is definitely a upside of using like just in general clay products or wax products in that matter. So when we restyle, we see that things respond pretty quickly and naturally as if it was like in the beginning. They're not as sticky. So that initial like very thick, feeling that you get from applying the product it's not there anymore right now it just feels as if it was a clay and less as, mm, it feels less of a clay than a wax at this point i don't know if that makes sense but that's what we get it feels a lot lighter in the hair things have loosened up and for some weird odd reason i don't know i like this at the end of the day a lot more especially when you have like a day's worth of buildup already um, the next day and even the third day is pretty damn solid where it just feels like things are all under control and all in place. So definitely an upside to that is once things do dry out a little bit, it settles in your hair. You just left with like a really good amount of hold and control. And for me, the stickiness was what was like an off-putting aspect of the Tropics Matte Clay. It's just like a little bit too waxy for my taste but got over that hump gave it like a couple hours and then pretty much in the freaking green zone for that so there you guys have it i think that's pretty much it for the tropics matte clay uh the scent is essentially gone at this point we still get a very matte shine or finish through the product and i guess the only downside of this is that buildup happens really fast because of the wax that's incorporated into the product um, by day three, I felt already the need to wash out my hair. Usually it's like day four or five, but with this, I might have just applied way too much product. So err on the side of caution with that. You might just need two scoops on day one, maybe in half a scoop on day two and three. So I just went ham and did full scoops every day. And there you guys have it. That's what I ended up with was the need to shampoo a lot of things out. So. I think that's it. Um, next time we'll be doing the orchid paste. Super excited about that just because I like the drier side of products and this lines up. So see you guys next time. Peace.